Have you ever had one of those days where you just feel one million percent over it? Like over everything, anything, everybody, everything. I'm going to speak again there. That's literally how I feel today. I literally feel so over it. I just literally want to go back to bed, but I have to go out. I have to spend money. Uh, I've got to pick things up. I've got to take things out. All I really want to do, you know what? I'm going to have to find the heaviest music on my iPod today just to kind of like calm me down, I think. I think this just all stems from yesterday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Nixie Bobs, where, as you can see by the intro, we're not having the best day. I started recording a Let's Play with this and like a little bit of a makeup y tutorial thing and then the battery died for my camera and basically every time the cam the camera battery like exerts itself mid record uh, it then therefore messes up the file it corrupts the file so everything I recorded it was about 15 minutes worth of stuff it died and then I come back and I tried to start again and it just wasn't happening I just wasn't feeling it and I was just as I say over it so I've come back now uh, having made myself up and we're gonna uh, do a little review and I'm going to talk through everything I've done and we're going to just chat. So we have the It Cosmetics It Girl Beauty book. This is volume two. I did not even know there was a volume one. Perhaps volume one came out last year. Do tell me guys, I don't know these things. This was available for pre-order on QVC I think in October and I put, I was like really excited to see it and I have to say I'm not disappointed with this uh, immediately on the face. Uh, now, I thought this was going to be a little bit, when I saw the picture of it, I was thinking it was going to sort of be maybe this long, kind of a little bit longer, maybe thinner. It's a nice compact size. Uh, the one thing that I'm really upset about, this was packaged beautifully. It was in a silver box. It come with this ribbon wrapped around it. I was going to show you how, literally how it arrived, but the silver box has kind of walked away. So uh, what I'll do is I'll find the silver box and we'll have a little image right now of... Uh, just how this arrived and how beautifully packed it was. I had no idea it was going to come like that. You even get the little label here for to from to gift it and then you have this little thing on the other side. I cannot remember what this says. Because of you the world is more beautiful. Hmm, thanks. Now initially looking at this, the, it, this is something of like one of those tactile pleasing things. Like if you've ever seen videos floating around the internet of people being really pleased by like the cutting of soap or like scrape it all those things this feels the same like I could sit here and just it it's the tactileness and it's also the way all the rhinestones are but I just can also just sit there and play glitter with this for hours on end ignoring the middle bit of the mirror right here I love the rose gold effect on this packaging it's so pretty and it just immediately makes me love it before I've even looked at anything inside it so opening our little magnetic book and you'll see that obviously I have used elements of this. I'm going to talk you through everything once we've had a little inspection. We have here three, I think, I think is it Bye Bye Under I shade for me? This is the one that will flatter me. But if you're into big harsh contour lines, which I am not, but we'll talk about that in a minute, you could obviously mix in this one here and come in around. I obviously am not going to do that. You've got the Bye Bye Pores powder. I cannot wait to talk to you about that. I believe opening this out a little bit further, they said that there were a lot of full sizes in this thing so I think this and this is full size is it not do correct me if I'm wrong so going on to the next page we have our highlighter we have a ombre blush and we have three lip colors here they've obviously been as universal as possible with things like blush and lip color so obviously it has to flatter everybody not everybody is going to flatter the same lip color opening I'm going to fold this one down because this is just a mirror <sighs> we have our shadow palette here now i was a little intrigued to find out what the uh foundation the eye foundation is here apparently it's more like a cc thing as opposed to being um an eye primer so i have mixed in a little urban decay just to help settle that in but our actual eyeshadow shades all here there are three six nine they are amazing and I, I i'll show you and tell you about the ones i'm wearing today down here we have universal taupe brow power brow power i think uh again they're trying to be as universal as possible and then we have the eyeliner i've cheated today and not used this eyeliner i'm going to try using it on another day maybe when i'm not a little bit 
not as frustrated as I am right now and when I have a little bit more time to see if I can man it properly with uh, a liner brush or um, like a really skinny like one of my spectrum brushes I'm thinking of my phone is going off like crazy I am obviously wearing a lot of it cosmetics today I am wearing it's uh, CC foundation cream as well uh i am in love with that product like, i need to do a video and talk about that product it's insane so starting from the top i've not used uh bye bye under eye obviously i said i used fair light uh, i've actually used that on any blemishes i've got so i've used it here here and here and i have to say they've really covered up well the this one particular here is really really red uh, and i'm guessing by the end of the day it's even going to be even more raised but it's covered so well with just that. And all I did was use a flat concealer brush, brushed it on and then dabbed it with um, a flat top uh, brush. Same with this one here. This is quite scabbed actually, and it's covered really, really well. So I'm really impressed with that aspect of CC. I quite like it coming set like that, as opposed to being in the liquid tube. Sometimes the liquid tube, as we found out with the super size one, that was a nice product, but you find that it's really hard to squeeze out of the tube in terms of its uh, Bye Bye Under Eye. I really like it like this and whether they make it like this or whether they don't they should really consider making it a set product like this because this I really really like and I've just stuck my fingers in the other two lip colors bye bye pores I am wearing as soon as I'd finished applying foundation I settled on with a little bit of this mixed in with a bit of Kat Von D because this again we need to talk about this oh, oh, holy grail product right there this is like silk um I have not had a uh, experience with this product before i've just kind of gone in with it really always wanted to buy it. i think they do a loose powder and a set powder form of this this is a set powder form it literally feels like you're brushing silk on your face uh, i cannot comment really whether it's covered up any huge deep pores i'm not sure you're gonna have to be the judge of me right here because this is where i have the most open pores is this kind of the like the mask part right here on my nose and then on this part of my cheek it looks lovely like looking at it in the camera my skin looks really lovely um but obviously i did mix it in with a little bit of this uh that is just for setting though that's not so much bye bye pause as it is just literally helps set your makeup and then coming down to again the ombre bronzer I've used this because I used Kat Von D and if you go back and watch uh, my Locket Foundation review you'll find that I actually have um, a shade, two shades too light in the foundation however it oxidizes but when you initially put it on your face it does make me look like this color right here. It does make me look very very dead which I love but at the same time you kind of have to make sure it's balanced out so I have used just a little bit of bronzer on this part of my face like the contour if you want to call it that i am getting a little bit more open to that but i'm not doing it as harshly as some people if i do do it it normally has to be very faint and has to be well blended because i don't the one thing i don't like about modern makeup is when you see literally like there's a blush a light and there's literally it feels like there's a line of blush highlighter and contour right there and then you've just got the bottom of the chin it looks really really strange to me so i always try and make sure it blends well all right here's the point where i have to intersect and hope to god that this comes out so i was sat there sunday night editing this ready to go out it got to the moment you just saw and apparently the audio doesn't work I don't know why I did try and look at the video I played it through QuickTime uh, it is literally a fault of the file I don't really know why um, it's very annoying because obviously I've recorded all this and now literally I'm like moving my mouth and there was no sound so rather than ditch the video and have to do this all over again which I point blank refuse to do uh, I'm going to sit here and go through the book whilst watching this and try to remember what I was saying it's probably going to come out different and I'm sorry that this is going to like it's in really really poor quality but I've done the work I've done the video and I'm not just going to throw it away so uh, let's try and remember what I was saying as we go through the video I'm literally going to watch this as we play so you know uh, i think basically i do just need a new camera i think this one sorry i love you has had its day uh and i'm going to look at it because obviously it's black friday next week so possibly i'm gonna look at doing that next week so the bye bye pause bronzer i love it it's actually quite glittery depending on where you hit on this bronzer i mean because it's ombre you've got a light side and a dark side you could obviously get a lighter bronze a dark bronze i don't i don't think it ombres right 
but I think it's lovely if you're just doing a light bronze or a light contour like I tried to do here. Going on to the three lip colours, we have Live Pure Bliss and Pure Joy, and I chose this day to wear Pure Joy, which is kind of like a mauvey pink with like a shimmer pigment in it. Really actually stayed on quite well, I have to say. Seeing here now doing this again, I can tell you that. It was really comfortable. The colour pigment is really rich, but also it's not too statement. So if you are going for a slightly darker colour on the eye, then you can totally get away with this. I like the fact that they come like this uh, in this kind of form in this palette. Pairing it to the Smashbox palette I got, this lasted a lot better. Obviously they've tried to be universal and create three shades that everyone can wear and I think they've done a really, really good job with this personally and the fact that they've chosen three pinks versus three reds or anything else uh means that it will go with absolutely any makeup you're wearing and i think you could lighten it up or darken it down as well so moving on to the blush this is the je ne sais quoi blush it's i think one of the most known blushes from it cosmetics the difference with this one again it seems glittery and i don't know whether that's just the highlighter underneath uh blending in just a little bit it's an ombre again i tried getting this on as an ombre it didn't really work my one negative i'm going to say with this blush the je ne sais quoi blush is that it comes out very fuchsia pink i had to really blend this in to make sure that i did not look coco the clown or look too blushed out or pink the brilliant highlighter and you'll see completely in this video that it stands out like a light you can totally see where it's hitting the cheekbones where i've highlighted here going onto my cheeks it is an insanely awesome highlighter and i would i would, I would gladly buy this as a full size it's got a lovely glitter pigment but it's not too glimmery and it really really flatters the cheekbones it's a goldy champagne shade and i i love this i can't talk this one up enough so moving on to our final shade which is shadows liner brow power page i've got to say i think i said this uh the eye foundation i was a little bit confused by at first it turns out that this is more for color correction so i did i think i say add a little bit of urban decay primer in before filming and before applying any of the shadows you get nine shadows in this i think you've got four or five shimmer glitters and the rest are mattes which i really like there's a good variation in that and also they're really well pigmented and they blend really well which is what you can see in this video i've not gone gone for two anything to kabang that day i was only going to the opticians uh, but obviously i just wanted to try it out and have a little play so in this one in this video so i've used uh shadows i've used in this in for this look were poise coy gracious is a lovely dark glitter shade that went right in the very outer corner and slightly over the top as a cut crease and it really blends well and didn't come out too sparkly which i loved and I also used Miracle on the whole lid. Again, it's a lovely light shade that did not look overpoweringly gold or glimmery. And then I also used All Heart uh, on, again, to cut crease. And it's a lovely transition. And it's not too pink as well, which I think a lot of people are going to like. If you're not keen on something like Urban Cherry, you'll like All Heart. Not use Superhero Liner. Now, Brow Power, I'm a little bit on the fence with here. Uh, I'm wearing it. I don't mind it. But I don't think this particular shade is one that I would choose to have. I think it looked a little bit too natural. I think it looked a little bit too light on me. I know obviously they're going for a universal taupe to make sure that every skin colour everywhere can wear it. I just felt like it wasn't as flattering to me as my sort of darker shades to match root, to match brow shades. That is just my opinion. It did, however, stay on very well. And I don't actually have a powder brow product, which is pretty good you know it was a good first try but i think if i was buying this product and i would i would buy it in a, a shade darker than what i'm wearing here and a shade darker than the actual palette that comes in so i'm just going to come back with you guys and finish this now because quite honestly it's really hard trying to watch myself guess what i was talking about in the whole thing so i thought i'd just give you like a finished version of what i thought of everything rather than try and do it with the video and again i'm really sorry it's come out like that it's just the way that it is and as i say i, I put it down to the older camera i think that this little thing is absolutely amazing and I, i'm getting spoiled for choice as i always am at this time of year urban decay cherry has just come out i've got that to play with you've got there's another urban decay palette that's just come out it's like a circle it's like uh, the urban decay heavy metals of last year just reimagined for christmas this year that looks incredible there's a new tart tart east pro palette coming out Christ, it, every time at this time of year, there's just tons of stuff to play with. And I just sit there and go, I want it 
old. I did not buy the Tarte Christmas palette, the Flamingo the one that was on QVC, uh, purely because I feel like I've got a lot of the shades and I just went, no, you know what, not for me this year. But this, as, a, as an introduction to its shadow products, which I've never had before, love them. They lasted all day on my eyes. They did not crease once. Uh, I don't know whether that's down to the foundation or whether just the formula is very, very good. I don't know, but I really, really enjoyed them. The only sort of two products I would be a little bit hmm with are the blush and the Universal Taupe Brow. Uh, the blush was a little too pink, as I said, for my liking. Someone's messaging me and I don't even know where the hell my phone is. The lip colours I love, I want them to make Bye Bye Under Eye in the formula like this set like this in a little compact uh if you're watching make me that because i think this works a million times better than the tube i prefer it and on top of that this thing right here that you see that's just a little faint red mark now that when i recorded was like a mountain and that really solved the problem in fact i would go as far as to say sat there in the set formula like that it worked marginally better than shape tape and that is saying something pores pressed love it i love the bronzer as i say you can go up or down depending on how defined and bronzed you want to be but i think that this for the money as well for about i think 53 it's back at now i got it for 48 really good price great packaging comes beautifully presented and i love this i can't wait to play with it more and i think the thing with this is it doesn't always just sit for christmas this goes beyond christmas it can go into summer it can go into spring it can go into everything which when you're getting something in the holiday christmas season you want something that you can use all the time there's nothing worse than if you get a holiday special and it's all reds greens and golds and you go great now i've got to wait till next year to use it nah you can use this all the time brilliant product i wish i had the volume one anyone knows anything about the volume one let me know i will be doing more videos with this hopefully in full sound let me know if you would like to see that urban decay cherry videos will be coming uh, i only didn't put out the one that i had because it was four minutes long so i sat there and went right i'm going to do a compilation but that will be coming i promise you guys might have said that at the start of the video can't quite remember sorry everyone for the quality like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see me do with this. And I will see everyone again for more content that's hopefully not muted. Bye.